Okay, so as resellers, we deal with our fair share of eBay scammers, but it can work both ways. Like some people, well, there's a lot of people out there who try and scam innocent people. And in the early days of eBay, it was a bit of a Wild West free for all. However, <laughs> there's an episode of Judge Judy where she lays in to somebody who's tried to scam somebody and I haven't watched it yet. Someone just uh, it came up with my thing and I was like, oh, that'll make a decent video. So I'm going to watch it. Plaint, you and your ah. daughter won an auction on eBay. Two. Two. Two auctions. And the auctions were being run by the defendant and her husband. And you claimed that they defrauded you. You won the auctions, you sent them the money, you didn't get much you're supposed to get. So it describes the item, etc. Headset jack, yes. Phone design, clamshell. Weight, four point. <laughs> okay, so clamshell is a flip phone, essentially. It's one of those old school ones. So this is a while ago. This is like early noughties at least. 90 ounces. This is all in your ad? Yes. Okay. So you won and you sent her money? Correct. And what did you get in return? These pictures of the cell phone. That's exactly this is a popular scammer. It used to be. Now they've kind of like really, really clamped down on it. But people used to sell. People will literally just sell this and say, oh, Baymaxy toy. It's a Baymax toy. Um, but then they put in the description in like really small writing, like picture of Baymax toy. Yeah, and then they'd send the picture. Obviously, it would be on more expensive things. The iPhone was a big one when it came out. Loads of people were like saying, like, "Oh, it's just a picture." And like the PlayStation Four, do you remember that when that came out and everyone was scalping it? And scammers were like saying, "Picture of." Hmm, it's naughty. It's naughty. Very naughty. And uh, yeah, so she's done it with phones. I wonder if they put the what like there's in the item specifics whether they put this serial number in because sometimes serial numbers can help, and whether they, like the weight of stuff and you know what network is it on? Because if it was on a network, a pay piece of paper doesn't have a network, so she can say, well, actually, you've said it's on this network. Yeah, so there's ways of getting around it, and unfortunately, it means going to court, like small claims court, or like going to Judge Judy. And her husband told me that uh, I paid for what I got. Thank you for the shopping spree. I asked him for my money back, and he said, no, I've already spent the money on merchandise I wanted to get. And he was your husband. He's at home with our children. He couldn't come. Why couldn't he come? Because we couldn't find a babysitter. So he had Why didn't you home. stay home? Because I would rather come than him. The eBay auction is in my name. Oh, good. So you are responsible for this. Yes, mm. explain it. Uh, it states very clearly in the it's his idea. this is for a photo only. I sent her the photo. Show me where it says that. And you sent her two photographs of the cell phones. And you say that that's what she paid for, two photographs of the cell phones. Are we understanding each other? Yes. You're an idiot. <laughs> and a scammer. Thank you. That's not true. Oh, that's why he sent oh, you. You are married hell. to a Listen to me, Kelly. You are married to a coward. And a scamming coward. Okay, so... The eBay account is in her name, and she looks very kind of like I don't know. I don't want to say there's some like delusional kind of like thinking, but I don't know. I, I'm getting really bad vibes off it. Like he's coerced it into this and said it's a good idea and said, "Oh, it's legal. It's the X Y Z." But then again, she is an adult, but a level of gaslighting and brainwashing. Do crazy things when you're in a relationship. And if you came here to defend that position, to me, you're going to be unsuccessful because you are a thief. Oh, listen to me. Listen, listen to me. You he are has a thief. To do with the auction. Listen to me. You're a thief because your husband said to her, "Thank you for the shopping." My husband spree. never said that to her. Absolutely did. The two scammers, but created children together. That's unfortunate for the children. You're a thief. Outrageous! You are outrageous, madam. Why don't you get I don't need a, job. a job? You don't need to get don't a job. You don't need a job because you're scamming works. people. Really? But you read that ad very carefully. Uh -huh, because when I, you I wrote scammed, the ad. Listen to me. You read that ad and wrote it very carefully. 
in anticipation mm. of scamming somebody out of four hundred and sixty-seven dollars. You're an outrageous personal position of being it's in borderline your position criminal. right there today. Why you would risk? She could call social services as a judge. She could call social services on her. Some feedback saying that I was a scam artist. That I was from Nigeria. I sent her fake money orders. That's why I didn't get what I sent for. Now I that's harassment. She can get a restraining order and then she's got a record. Don't speak until I speak to you. <laughs> you have an active case with Child Protective Services? No. You have a case she that has been investigated by Child Protective Services? No. You might. <gasps> For what? I didn't harm my children. I didn't put my children oh, let me in tell danger. You something. Let me tell you something. Bringing this kind of activity into your home. What kind of activity? I can't yeah. read. In describing it, it weighs... 4.90 yes. ounces. This does not weigh 4.90 ounces. That's what you sent to her. Yeah, and so talk time. Did you see that? Talk that time. You thought you were smart when you said you're bidding on what you see in the picture, which you saw. Which is battery life. So this does not meet the description of what she purchased. Yeah, invalid which sale. Put your hand. Never. And the IRS, I'm certain. I'm certain I'm going to be very interested to Tax see the fraud. results of your eBay business. And did you notify eBay that they should be stricken off eBay? Maybe they finally just did for uh, two days ago. They've been, I've turned Delayed. it over to the uh, Attorney General. Delayed. Ooh, very good, very clever. turned it over to the Attorney General. What you should have turned it over to is the local police department. I they tried, live in a different state. I tried to do that. They were in a different state, so I contacted our local police department, which they're investigating it now. But the Attorney General's got three other cases against them. <laughs> oh. she, likes she likes to make babies. Well, there was eight other people at this auction she scammed. She likes to make babies. She thinks that that's there other people She thinks that, that you have to be smart to make babies. Don't speak understood. to me until I speak to you. Don't speak to me until I speak to you. You have You're to find yourself, to do with your time constructively, other than make children who are going to grow up with no moral compass like their mother. Judgment for the plaintiff in the amount of five thousand dollars. That's all. Five thousand. Wow. Wow. Just completely kind of like digging in. It's unfortunate the world has people like her in it. Yes. Photo only. That's kind of amazing. She's either completely deluded, she knows what she's doing, but yeah, Judge Judy was right. She could call social services or child protective services because that is essentially borderline criminal and she's bringing that in the home. <sighs> My goodness. <sighs> That's the end of that court case and that happened, I've just found out, in 2007. So, about 16 years ago. Oh. God, and I thought I'd just do a little bit of research, you know, uh, like where are they, where are they now, kind of thing. And it's just gotten worse. This is terrible. It really is terrible. Okay, so I'm just going to read you this. Um, so Judge Judy referred her to. I don't know if she referred her to or like the police saw her on Judge Judy and then investigated or the um, all those other cases that the Attorney General brought against her in terms of fraud. So Miss Filkings, that are Kelly, marriage to the slimy Mr. Filkings uh, eventually ended. Miss Filkings allegedly lost custody of her children for a time when she was incarcerated for fraud. Uh, according to her mother in a late, later communications, Miss Filkins paid for her misdeeds and later reformed. Though she may have been reformed by experience of good fortune, however, it was temporary. On January the 16th, 2017, Miss Filkins passed away. Some, oh my God, some people, including her mother, um, set up a GoFundMe page in a later, and believed it to be the latest in Miss Filkins scams didn't believe that she actually died oh my god there's an anonymous person who commented on the reddits claiming to be the son of kelly philkins and he said um she scammed people on ebay uh it she didn't deserve to die the way that she did and apparently she had drug issues but she got clean but she had 
bad tasting men that's what you kind of like phrase it bad tasting men that took advantage of her and i could kind of see that that obviously the husband has sent her out i mean she wrote the article she even admitted it in court she said well i wrote the article it's like okay you've just admitted that you've wrote that you've literally scammed someone but i wonder if there's some sort of coercion and particularly when there's drugs involved the abuser uses drugs to manipulate the abuse basically and to do certain things i wouldn't be surprised if they say right well we're going to do this and uh, that'll pay off your debt or something or that will i'll give you so much money to get drugs or whatever yeah and the kids obviously got taken off her. oh there's so many horrible comments oh i don't i don't like this god there's so many people talking about this going back from 2017 to now i mean it's monetary monetary it's horrible and sucky and people scammers are scum but if they try and chase away, if they get caught and do the time, fine. They get out and then they don't do it again. That's the whole point of prison rehabilitation to stop them, you know, doing that. But because of their time in prison, sometimes they might develop a drug habit. You never know. So this turned into something a bit different, didn't it? It turned into something a bit kind of deep. I mean, how tragic. I obviously, for the initial case, yes, the victim is the scammed. Judge Judy did the right thing and you know all that kind of stuff but like these things happen every day and some people don't even get that it's only the tenacity of the victim bringing it all the way I mean she could have just given up like really when you think about it she could have just given up but she didn't I mean good for her yeah this Kelly person she did wrong she was obnoxious she deserved that fine of like what was it four or five thousand pound Plus she got referred to the prison, so she got went to prison, she was a scammer. I think her husband should have been sent to prison. I think the kids got took into custody with her, uh, got took into care or placed with the grandparents, I think it said. So, yeah, they know what's happened. There's no winners here. There's no winners here, really. Anyhow, so I'm going to leave it there. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. Bye. I'm gonna go get